I love this testimony. Okay, so this is a testimony about how hugs bring deliverance. All right, so this is a wild testimony. Okay, I love this because the devil is so nasty. And when we begin to know like perfect love casts out fear and how humanity needs love and smiles and hugs, like you can just see the enemy's strategies at work. And it begins to ignite a fire to rebel against the strategies of the enemy. Because if you understand and begin to love as God loves with a jealousy for humanity and for the good of humanity, you just can't participate with certain things. Um, you honor people. Um, God never imposes himself on people. Um, but you make yourself available under a different spirit. I'll just say that and you rebel against other spirits that are from the devil. Okay, so hugs deliver. All right, this is a cool story. So <clears throat> under the church authority, right? God operates under authority. <clears throat> we don't just run around doing our own thing as renegades. <clears throat> Jesus did not do that. He waited for John the Baptist to release him out to his own ministry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we're always watching and waiting if one of God's authorities speaks something over us then we honor that authority by honoring the Lord and going out and beginning to do what that authority said you need to do. <clears throat> so, hugs deliver, testimony. So I was under authority and there was this um, section at the church called the earnest section. And that's basically um, like during the services, if someone is earnest for God, needs to repent of something or anything, Basically, there would be one person or a couple that's assigned to that section. And then there's all, if it's just one person, there's always like other pastors or other levels of authority that are kind of sitting back there in case they're, they're well, you know, we operate together. So um, <clears throat> Jesus sent them out two by two. There's wisdom in that. But in this situation, so um, I was back at that section, kind of overseeing that section. I was assigned there, right? So I'm under authority. And this woman comes up and she says, so my daughter is um, being tormented and she is in the bathroom and she needs help. And so I'm like, all right, Lord, what do I do? And so we're in the midst of a church service, okay? So um, in the midst of that church service, the last story, this is where how God is so good and he's strategic, right? He like knows what the devil is doing and he's like, Boom. And so if the authority you're under is walking by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and their mouths are submitted to him, then their mouths are going to speak out a word right there in that moment that might be needed for the five minutes from there that we don't even maybe not realize, but God will bring it back up. That's where we rely on the Holy Spirit to bring those things back up, right? When I pour the word into me, like I may not receive or know what that is going to bring fruit in later, but the Holy Spirit is going to bring that back up as the word in season, as what I need as revelation for that time. When we listen to the word, we just sow in, we just, we just plant, we just put that word and sow it into our hearts. Then we get, if we have good ground with an honest and good heart, then God's going to bring that up. Like sometimes I'll just listen to scripture and I just pray in the spirit. I'm listening to Proverbs or whatever, you know, and, and, but later when I need wisdom, boom, that stuff, it comes right back up. So that's how good God, God is. All right. So hugs deliver. So she says this. So I'm, I check with my authority next to me. Like, do you want me to go to the bathroom and go, you know, see about the situation? And like, yeah. Okay. So I went there <clears throat> into the bathroom and I'm, you know, um, we don't lay hands on suddenly. I don't just impose myself into someone's situation. So I'm kind of checking like, hey, is anybody, you know, are you in here? Is anybody in here? And nobody was in there with, with me except this woman. And it was in the bigger stall. And I walk in, and, you know, it was open. And she's cowering and shaking in the corner. And, and I'm in my spirit. This is what, how I walk with the Lord. Um, what do you want me to do? Like how, what do you want to do in this situation? He's the only one who knows how to minister to someone, <clears throat> but she's shaking and she's count like curled up at a ball cowering in the corner. And I kind of like kneel down and get close to her. And, um, and I'm like, you know, Hey, you know, sometimes just saying someone's name. And, um, I probably did some of that. I don't remember exactly the specifics, but, um, you know, just trying to, you know, um, 
just love on her. Um, but, but really just being sensitive, like, Lord, what do you want me to, to do in this situation? And the only thing that I could remember, the only thing that came to my mind was the story that the, you know, apostle, pastor, minister had just told in church about how he would just sit next to someone and they, he would just cry with them or he would just hug them. And he had shared this story, I don't remember exactly, but this story about how he hugged someone and like all their devils just got, like went out of them um, because perfect love casts out fear. So he was say, sharing something about hugs and I'm, I'm next to her, you know, I'm, I'm on the floor with her, you know, and sitting next to her and I said, hey, not, can I just give you a hug? And I don't remember, you know, she must have either nodded her head, I don't remember exactly, or said, yeah, you know, and she's shaking. And, and I just held her. I didn't hold her for that long, but I just held her. You know, I'm not, I'm not something whatever. It's God ha has to do, do the work. And she, like, at some point, like, she backed up and she looked at me. She goes, what did you just do? I said, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> and she's like, everything just left me. And she was like totally at peace. And so we got up and we went back into church, we went back with her mom. Um, and I just say that like, God knows what's needed in, in different situations. And he has like, strategies and ways that he wants to release to us. And it's unique. And that's why, you know, we learn and we grow from testimonies of others, right? Cause I had just heard that testimony from my authority. Holy Spirit had him speak that out of his mouth when the devil was all, taking her out to the bathroom. And here I am, do, 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 you know, just listening, whatever. You know, I don't know how much else, but evidently I heard that. And so I got, and then the Lord brought it right back up. So God will bring these things back up. And there are just the thoughts. And it's not just a thought. God might be giving you a strategy of how to get the victory, bring deliverance to others. Okay, so that is a testimony on hugs can bring deliverance. Ah.